It is the 10th of December 2020. Look at this area of low pressure over the Philippines today. Definitely bringing some scattered showers out there. Even a few of you have wrote me, showed me some photos of a little bit of flooding that's taking place in central and southern areas of Luzon. This area not expected to become a, a named storm system or anything like that. But you know what's happening? This is south of that shear line, which is lifted a little bit further towards north. And later on in this update, I'm going to talk about when that's going to be pushed back down towards the south. But right now, since it's further towards the north, there is less shear acting on it. And thus, it is able to get uh, just enough spin around it to increase those showers here across central and southern areas of Luzon. So if we go back to that infrared imagery, you can just see kind of that convection blowing up on the northern side of this storm system as it works its way across and even in the manila you're looking at some scattered showers here on our thursday so you got that low pressure area it is going to increase that rainfall just thanks to that flow coming on shore but as we go ahead into friday it does start to lift further towards the west and you start to see those showers taper off just a little bit this is the ecmwf model uh, by the way and i think this is on to something the gfs isn't picking up on it that's why i'm showing the ecmwf uh, I know I actually had a YouTube comment in my last video. Somebody was saying, you're just showing windy data. No, windy data is backed up by these models. And if you know what you're looking at and you give context, it's useful. Now, if I zoomed in on this and said, look at that with no context. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. Anyways, off my soapbox. This is moving towards the west. So going to be a uh, rain decrease across the Philippines. But we could watch this for a little bit of low pressure area development uh, towards the east of Vietnam as we go ahead into the weekend. But as far as the Philippines are concerned, red areas indicate about 50 to 100 millimeters of additional rainfall thanks to that flow coming in behind it over the course of the next 72 hours. All right, let's pull back the bigger picture here. That's what I want to talk about. So, of course, we got a little area of low pressure down here towards the south and back towards the north. You have the westerlies. But this is all tied in together. So let's loop through this. First, starting off here on our Saturday, we have basically a new system that's going to develop out of the Sea of Japan and start to lift towards the east as we go ahead to Sunday and the Monday. And watch that. There's that low right there. You get the high towards the west. And look at these isobars just shifting across the Sea of Japan pushing down here towards south with a tight pressure gradient across Okinawa all the way down here towards the Philippines. Let's actually go ahead and I'll show you this a little bit closer on Sunday over towards Monday and really the setup for a classic sea effect snow event. So you got that high pressure over Siberia, our low back towards the east and that's what we're talking about. We get that flow that comes across. This is the type of situation that sets up just a tremendous amount of snows across Honshu and Hokkaido. Um, they need it, by the way. And you might think, well, who needs snow? Well, the, the resorts out here. Last year, it was a terrible season uh, as far as skiers and snowboarders are concerned. The start of it, there wasn't much snow. And at the end, COVID and the pandemic took place. So the resorts, which uh, just, you know, they took an impact seriously one two punch they didn't get the start of the season and they didn't get the end of the season so fingers crossed they get that heavy snowfall out here but you know what this brings so you got that strong northerly wind it doesn't stop in japan it keeps going south so places like okinawa i know it's been way out there for you and it looks like it's going to stay that way heading into the weekend but once this sets up by monday over towards tuesday that's going to push that monsoonal shear line further towards the south bring it towards the philippines and thus the monsoon is going to return uh, with uh, some pretty uh, rough conditions out here uh, across northeastern areas of Luzon, definitely increase in rainfall as we go ahead into next Sunday through Monday into Tuesday, just thanks to those gusty conditions. So it's all connected. Once this sets up, by the way, it, it will kill the development of any tropical systems further towards the north. But by the mid and latter part of next week, there is still some guidance that is hinting at something further down towards the south heading into Mindanao. And I'll talk about that in a second, but let's actually, let's get right to it right now. So we have the increase flow next week. Could watch for a low pressure area. Um, it's got to stay south of that monsoonal flow as it pushes south of Guam over towards Palau. There's a lot of question marks here. If you watched my video uh, two days ago, I had the exact same graphic because still the guidance is there, but still nothing has spun up. There is still some convection way off here towards the east that could spin up on it, but um, 
there's a lot of question marks, but there is something pointing towards something. That's not very meteorological of me, is it? I'm going to keep that in the video. Yeah, that's basically what I'm talking about here. So the LPA dominates the Philippines today. The CFX snow is going to be returning across Japan, heading into the weekend. And that cold air will be arriving next week. So those of you in northern Luzon, I know you complain about the relatively cold air temperatures uh, into the teens. That's probably going to be returning. Okinawa as well, looking at some breezy conditions too. All right, so if you don't already follow me, please subscribe. Follow me on all of the social media platforms as well, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok. Yeah, I post up there. Why not? All right. Anyways, thanks f as always for watching. And uh, the number one thing is, of course, stay safe out there.